Hello everybody and welcome back to your 12th C++ tutorial. Today we're going to be carrying on with the game that we started to develop in the previous tutorial. And in case you missed that, I'd really recommend that you go and watch it because we really got stuck into it, as you can see. And uh, we've started to program the game. And here's what we've got so far. We've just got a simple map with a character on it. And we can move this character only down at the moment, but eventually we'll be able to move it all around. Then we'll add more functionality to it, such as, you know, maybe even moving around to a different map or going over a certain place on the map and something happens, you know, we'll see. So if we just exit out of this, we can carry on. Oh, and also, I'll have a link in the description to a online file sharing site, probably Mediafire, where you can download all the source code for this. So if you don't want to type all of this out and you just want to watch it, you can download the source code and it should all be ready to run on your computer. Alright, so now that's out of the way, let's carry on. So uh, basically we just need to use this code again, just changing little things. So if we uh, just copy and paste this, it's a code so similar, there's no point writing it all out again. As you can see, it's exactly the same, but we can, if we say we want to program up, if we just change this to up, and because we're moving up the screen, that's moving from, say, for example, here to here. So that's going from number 2 to number 1. So therefore we need to minus 1. And therefore also, instead of y plus plus, it would be y minus minus to take away 1 from y. So now, with just uh, changing little bits of the code, we can build and run. And we've missed something out here. Oh, sorry, we must have forgot to copy and uh, paste one more bit of it, just one minute. Okay, so if you just go for this again. Paste this in, just change all of this code quickly that I explained a second ago. And this time we've got no ever, so we can just run it. And so we can move down as before, and now we can also move up. And as you can see, the code works exactly the same. It won't allow us to move out of the map. And now all we need to do is tell it how we can move left and right. And now we'll have to change it a bit more, so I think we may as well just write it all out. It'll probably be just as quick. And you might learn a bit more by doing it this way, so just for the sake of it, I'll write it all out again. So get async, async key state to find out which key we're pressing. And we want it to be left this time, so VK left. Actually, we'll do right so we can actually see something happen because we start off on the left of the screen anyway. Uh, build this statement. Now we'll create one called X2 because we're working on the X axis moving left and right. And because we're moving right, we want to add one to it. So that would be X plus one. Now, if map y x2, and this is near enough exactly the same code, just changing a few small parts on it. So if there's a blank space to the right is basically just what that means is we're going to take one or, no, add one to x, sorry. After we've, we're just going to do that after this, we need to make the current space blank like this. Then we can add one to x and then display it out again. If I not display it, just change it to um, the character that we're using and then it will display it again back up here. So if we build and run and we've done something wrong, oh we've just added one too many square brackets and as you can see we can now move right and we can move out so I've just got to change a little bit of code yep sorry about that once again we uh, just forgot this square bracket here and put it in the wrong place these are just you know really simple things uh, easy to fix doesn't really matter and as you can see now we can't move out and we can do anything but move left now, so if we just 
copy and paste this and we should be all set for this part. And if you are getting confused, don't worry, I'll be explaining what we've done so far once we've finished the left key. And it's going to be minus because we're moving to the left. And so this has to be minus minus as well. So now we can move in any direction, won't let us out. And that's our simple game to start off with. Hasn't really got any functionality at all yet. So we'll be adding that in the next video, but I'm just going to explain what's going on here. So what we've got is, to start off with, we've got a multi-dimensional array, which was explained two tutorials ago. You can open the C++ playlist, and uh, you'll be able to find all of the videos, including that one. All this is, it basically means it's 10 rows down and 20 columns. And... Um, Here's the starting positions of the character, so 1, 1. Uh, we've got the variable game running, so the computer knows that we want our game to start running. And this loop just starts that. Start off with we're going to clear the screen so there's nothing on it. Actually, I'll just show you what happens if we don't clear the screen. What will happen is, instead of just making it look like this is moving around, what we'll get is we'll have loads of maps appearing. So, if I just show you this. If I try and move, we're gonna it will move, but on another map, and the old one will stay there, like that. See, and you know, obviously, we don't want that, so that's why we have to clear the screen at the beginning of the loop. So, we just put that back in. And that should be back to how it was. Yep. Right, now uh, we've cleared the screen, we've got a for loop which will display all of the rows and therefore display all of the map. Then we've got a uh, pause here with no display, that's why it says null. And that will just uh, pause the program and give the user a chance to press a key. And it's going to check for all of the arrow keys. And if, for example, the down key is pressed, it's going to check the space directly below the character, see if it's free. And I haven't a clue why this popped up, so I'm just going to hit that. And um, anyway, so if there is a space directly below it, it will move into it. If there isn't, it will just ignore it and carry on checking for other keys that are pressed. Once it's checked that any keys have been pressed and whether they have or not, what it will do is it will loop back to the start because of the while loop. And then the pro whole process will start again. And now we finish all of this, the logical thing we'll do is uh, to build a way on how to get out the while loop. And this is really simple to do. If we just create one more uh, async key state. So if get async key state. And this time we'll look for the escape key. So now if they press the escape key, if we set... Um, game running to false next time it tries to run the loop up here it will detect that it's been set to false and won't run and then it will come down and execute any code outside of the loop so if we just put down outside of the loop a message saying game over so now if we build and run you can see that we can still move around our character as before. But now if we hit the escape key, we get game over. And actually, I'm just going to change a little bit more of this and just add a uh, CLS clear screen here. I think it just makes it look a little bit neater. So now if we press the escape key, it gets rid of the map and we just get game over come up. So um, I hope you understand all of this code. If you don't and you want to download it all, like I said, there'll be a link in the description for the source code. So, uh, yeah, if you just check that down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll be adding some more functionality in the next C++ game tutorial. I uh, do hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.